Nu skal vi uh, skrue tiden til uh, bage i tiden, i hvert fald sådan rent uh, koncertmæssigt, fordi næste fredag, der kommer noget meget, meget spændende ud i Brøndby Kulturhuset Kilden. Og derfor vil jeg slå over på engelsk nu, fordi at, uh, det er sådan set helt okay. Vi skal også have lidt internationalt, det er lytterne vant til. Så so I want to uh, say good afternoon to the guy that we just heard laughed a bit over there, Mr. Howard Goldman from G Entertainment. Uh, Howie, very warm welcome to you. Thank you. That's nice of you to welcome me. Oh, indeed. No problem. And you've just come in the studio. You just actually just swung in the building and right now you're at the microphone, okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sweating and tired and... <laughs> But I found you. You did, and and I said to you because we were starting this lovely show at around one thirty, uh, our session of the show, and you came here about one twenty six, so you made it. Yeah, no problem. Just, yeah. And you, you actually, we should just mention for the listeners that you're coming. You're not just around the corner. You're yeah, coming I, quite uh, for quite a drive. Yeah, I came from V. And that's well, the reason why I wanted to mention that is because that our, one of our local broadcasting areas is Radio Oshel, and that's in Røvi, and that's up in that direction. Oh, yes. So I, I know V. Yeah, I, I, I've been at Radio Oshel, uh, I couldn't find it. <laughs> <laughs> But you did well. Now we're in the middle of Copenhagen. That's because we are broadcasting to so many stations uh, by this uh, show. So we are standing here at Østerbro, where we are broadcasting now. Yeah. But uh, we, we we started off with a, gr- a track here, just uh, Silence is Golden. I just thought I'll stick that on, and that's a good classic. Yeah, mm. the old red squares is lovely. Yeah, and uh, and the tremolos, uh, of course, uh, played it actually a couple of weeks ago when I saw them in Bellahoy Market, and that was something you also were behind with G Entertainment. Yeah, yeah? Um, the tremolos actually had a ve- weird world hit with that, and uh, and uh, red squares had a. Denmark hit with yeah, that yeah. <laughs> at the same time. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's amazing. Um, and maybe you should just take us a little bit back in time and tell us a little bit through who you are, so we just get you to know you a little bit. Well, I, I'm uh, an Englander. I yeah. come, obviously come from London, and uh, I came to Denmark, um, married a woman <laughs> uh, as usual. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I joined. Uh, I was with the Red Squares in in France, playing in uh, in. Uh, Uh, in the GI bases mm. and then I came to Denmark and I thought well this is the country for me this is beautiful okay uh, it's wonderful and uh, then I brought the Red Squares over again and I became their drum slayer again yeah and we had uh, six months we had a fen- phenomenal exp- uh, ec- uh, expression of love uh, mm. everything it was beautiful it was the days of flower power you know and all that kind of yeah. thing yeah so we're here today so it couldn't have been all that bad <laughs> <laughs> no 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 and so I've re- with them for 45 years nearly 50 years I think I think we we passed the 50 year mark And uh, I retired three years ago from the Red Square through uh, ill illness uh, I'll I'm allowed to say my illness, am I? Yeah, oh, yeah, of course. Uh, my illness is Parkinson's, and uh, I shake a little, so uh, I got the shaking Stevens, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you said that I didn't. <laughs> no, 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 I understand. Okay. Uh, and, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm taking up an hour to laugh about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Okay. And then. Uh, They, they gave me some pills and it works and uh, I don't shake so much. Okay, you, but, seem, uh, you seem all right. But uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I seem normal, but not in the mornings. You should see me in the morning. I'm <laughs> really shaking, Stephen. <laughs> uh, and uh, and Red Squares is still going, but on a very loose gig. You know, yeah. we do yeah. a gig uh, in uh, one in, in Denmark and two in Sweden, and that, so far we got. Okay, so just a very, very tiny bit sometimes when they, they call you and you can just say yes to some yeah. very special gigs. For really good money. Ah, <laughs> I, know your, I know one of your managers, Mr. Holger Hailberg. He's a oh, hard yeah. guy. Yeah, 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 I know Holger. <laughs> yeah, lovely guy. Yeah, he is. <laughs> That's right, I'm seeing him tomorrow. He's a good man. Yeah. <laughs> um, but but I should, shall we say, you've, you've had a really a big career uh, throughout 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, coming up to this, the... Uh, the new 2000s yeah uh, we've continued with Red Squares but uh, I, I was a producer for Echo Records in the old days I produced the Black Devils and uh, other artists and uh, from there I well I don't know it's just just I, I worked for Eric Horst do you remember Eric Horst <laughs> Eric, uh, Eric Horst. Uh, who is he? Is he Eric? He's the uh, editor of um, Bell Magazine. 
Ah, I think I've heard. I think he had some radio at some point as well. Uh, well, well, he somewhere. had his fingers in every pie, you know. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> uh, he had uh, this magazine called Bauer. I was in the first three as... Oh. Uh, I used to take uh, the big groups for over out for a shootout for uh, clothes and uh, that kind of thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I used to write, rec- um, st- uh, put the records on and, and listen to them and say what I thought of them. Okay, so you, you helped you helped them out in that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. But also, uh, you didn't even just stayed with going out performing and doing all this. You started your own entertainment business, G Entertainment. Yeah, that was when I retired three years ago, and I thought, uh, what am I going to do? Just I'm, I don't want to be a, a couch potato, and uh, I thought, <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, well. My, my, actually, it was my wife, and she said to me, my third wife. Yeah, oh, said, you're very honest on this one. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I, I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love it. Fantastic. Yeah, they call me on his show, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Again. And, uh, and she said to me, I, I, I'd like to bring over some uh, the, some British band, and, and I, oh, it was the Glitter Band. The Glitter Band? Yeah, they're still going, the Glitter Band, without Gary Glitter. I you was know. just about to say, because I've heard about Gary Glitter, he's yeah, a bit yeah. far away out in yeah. some uh, jail or something in yeah, Asia. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Had you ever met, met Mr. Gary Glitter? No, not Gary, oh, but I, okay. uh, I'm very friendly with the other guys. Okay, you know. okay. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, I said to him, well, I'll, I'll do something about it, I'll try and get it. So I got them a gig. But it was cancelled. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Why? Why? Uh, I, you know, I can't remember. Mm. It was three years ago, and I can't remember no. why it was cancelled. Oh, I see. But that was the first one that you ventured in. Ventured yeah. in, yeah. And then uh, I had some inquiries. You know, the Tremolos. I've known uh, Dave Munden and the other people for fifty-one years. Wow! Yeah, amazing. I, and I know the searches. And what I used to do was when we do do a gig with uh, a lot of English bands in the old days, I used to get to know them mm. quite well. Yeah. And then I called upon favors from them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you okay. do it a little cheaper? You know ah. that kind of thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So uh, and then it started me off. And the Tremolos have been a great help to me now. Uh, they they've actually. Um, There's only Dave Munden left, and uh, they've been really nice to me, the Trems. And they're so good. I mean, they do so many. They do really many gigs courtesy of you, I would say, here in Denmark now. Yeah, well, they did uh, five, six, seven gigs I've had with them uh, over here now. Amazing. This year. Oh, yeah, this year. Oh, and one last year in Odense. Oh, that's right, yeah. But, but they're really good. I mean, they, they really keep on. Oh yeah, they're, they're wonderful people. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I just I just come to think about w- when you said the other the, the glitter band there back in the days uh, you you started with them. Did you ever do something with them later, or didn't you get in touch with them again, or how did that work out? Well, I know Pete Phipps is the leader of uh, the glitter band, and uh, it was unfortunate. I can't rem- if I could remember, I, I would uh, tell you, but I can't remember. It was gig, but I'm in contact. With everybody. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, I remember that one. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, on. Yeah. yeah, that's a good one. You want to be in my gang, yeah, my, my gang, gang yeah. my <laughs> gang. <laughs> <laughs> that's a funny one. That's, yeah. a, that's a very nice one. I remember when I saw a classic Top of the Pops when I saw Gary Glitter on the stage. Yeah. He was really full power. Yeah, and we, we don't pop, pop, pop the tops, Red Squares as well. Oh, did you? Yeah, in London oh. in 19... 19- 68 wow. I think it was amazing yeah we did pop wow. the, top, top of the pops, pops. yeah who was the, who was it was it one of the really well known uh, DJs that had the gig at that time being yeah ghost? but my memories <laughs> ah I was just about to hear because you know I remember all those Tony Blackburn and Dave Lee Travis and I think it, I think it was Dave Lee Travis or something like that okay he, yeah he had a Canadian accent uh, yeah that's right he, he actually went on and broadcasted a very a couple of years ago on something called Classic Gold mm. in the southern part of England. Yeah, that's right. And it's fun to hear all these old DJs still going about. Yep. But they, they love their work, like you do. Oh. With your entertainment thing. Yeah. You say? yeah. And, and that's in for the... Sh- wouldn't you say that in for the show business, people keep on because they love it? Well, that's the main thing about it. You... you you can't give up, you know. I mean, this people, this guy's eighty, eighty-five years old, still playing. <laughs> yeah, I, I was at a 
concert I think it was about three weeks ago oh wow yeah where, where, where the trem tremolos were playing and yeah. uh, they were the top of the bill yeah and there was this old guy 85 years old he could hardly walk but what a bass player he was a good bass player you know <laughs> 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 love that love that story that, that's really good I mean if you can do that that's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, he had a, he had a Zimmer frame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really good. That's, that's so wonderful when people yeah. just keep on. It is, really. And uh, I just, just want to ask you also the process of being in the entertainment business, business. I mean, starting your own. I mean, now you say, you know, the trims, you know, those guys. But starting with all the things, finding the venues and everything, how was that for you before you were on the other side of the desk in a yeah. band? Now you had to do all the heavy stuff, shall we say. Yeah, I'm finding it very difficult to find venues for my bands because uh, the Danish people, they... Um, Unless they're originals, the old English bands, yeah. the Danish people, actually, they don't want to know, you know. Uh, oh, so but but I'm, I think it's a shame because the music goes on and they should think of the music. Yeah. So they should be more, in, more into the music, yeah. thinking about what, what's going on and what, what you can experience. But uh, next year's promising to be quite good. So, um, Brilliant. I won't say anything about no, it. We will we'll get you back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you come and talk about it here. Yeah. But another thing we should do, uh, Harry, we should just have a little piece of music. Yes. And uh, then we would come back and talk about the main event coming back, uh, coming next week on the 30th. Okay. Should we do that? Yep. So here we go with a little piece of music and we just back in the middle. We just have a little bit more of the trillers it sounds like here. And then we're back with the swinging blue jeans because they are on the top of the bill next Friday. The trimmelos. Here comes my baby. Very good, don't you think, Howard? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. We'll just get the, the last one here. Here we go. And uh, I remember this track with the Mavericks as well, don't you? I don't, don't recall. You? I don't recall uh, them pl making it. Okay. If, if you wow. say so, yeah, of course they did. Yeah. Because I can tell you a funny story with this. I actually, because you know, I can say my age. I'm 32. I, the, the first uh, version of this song I started to know was mm -hmm. when the Mavericks put it out in 2000. Okay. Yeah, and then I uh, first after a little bit later, a couple of years after, when I started to interest the in my interest of sixties music, I found it with the Tremolos. Okay. Yeah. So I got the other way around. Yeah, but I think the Tremolos wrote it, didn't they? I think they did. I yeah. think they did. And then this group Mavericks, they had a, th their biggest hit was that one called uh, "Dance the Night Away." Oh, I, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah, "Dance yeah. the Night Away." That was that their biggest hit, and they yeah. did then a new version of this one. Here comes my baby. Okay. Yeah. Well, we've got this great version with the Tremolos right now. Yeah. Hope you're enjoying yourself here in the studio. Great. I've had a cup of coffee now. I'm, I'm fresh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. We got, so you, you met an old, uh, should we say, an old uh, partner in, in the drumming session out there. You met a guy outside. Yeah, I met Casper yeah. outside. Yeah. He, he recognised me, but I didn't recognise him. But, <laughs> but I, I'll tell you why, because he had a hat on. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he said to me on the phone, I was, you know, putting all the schedule up for today, yesterday, said, uh, Mr. Howard Goldman, who is coming? Oh, I know him. I've met him before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, we, we did a gig uh, in uh, Holbeck. Oh, did you? Uh, the wow. Vandrium there. And, uh, ah! They were playing in a blues trio. Ah, and you met him up there. Yeah. Brilliant. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a lovely part of this show when, when musicians can meet each other out in the hallway in yeah, the entrance. Let's have more. Come on. Come on. You've got a quarter of an hour left. You can come and meet me. <laughs> <laughs> Just ring the door. We'll get you in. <laughs> that's good. That's amazing. But, uh, Howie, we should also talk about next Friday, mm -hmm. 30th of September, every listener here can come and experience a absolutely brilliant night with a very nice band. What is going to happen? They're absolutely fantastic, the uh, Swing Your Blue Jeans. Uh, uh, a little story about them. Yeah, indeed. The, um, Ray Ennis and uh, Alan Lovell, they had a little... T -t 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 little f a little fight, you know, verbal fight. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Uh, Alan won the right to have the name on, in the world. Yeah. Because he couldn't come to Denmark. Okay. And so uh, Alan went to court and and uh, and won the case. You know, let's put it that way. Just yeah. stop there now. Yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, Alan is the leader, <laughs> and he's been there many, many years uh, with Blue Jeans. And so they're they're not original, but no. they're fantastic, and their music is great, and they've got a good, great show. 
And that's really nice when you when you say it like this because many people ask when I say I'm going out seeing all these old bands. Oh, uh, is it the original or how many original yeah. are there and all that thing, shall we say? Yeah, but um, I think the the one that's been the least is um, three years. Okay, but okay. The, the, uh, Alan's been there twenty odd years. You know, I mean, wow. you you can more or less call him an original. You know, I mean, yeah, I would say so. Yeah. So it's very, very into it and just really going. Yeah, Alan, and he's a great entertainer, a really ah, good entertainer. Fantastic, love it. And they are going to be next Friday, uh, 30th of uh, September, in the place called Kulturhusekilen in uh, Brøndby. Yeah, that's right, yeah. It's very close to the station. You can just get the train down to, is it Brøndby? I can't remember, is it Brøndby Øster or Brøndby Strand? Somewhere down there. Uh, and I, you can walk there. I walked there, it only took me about five minutes. Yeah, and, so and, it, and it, if... A uh, hundred people want to come. I'll arrange a bus. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! Yeah. That's an offer. Yeah, yeah. Just get I, that on. I'll pay for the bus. <laughs> just come along. Yeah, just get in and g- get the tickets. Yeah. And w- what can people expect at that night? Should we just tell them that? Well, uh, it starts at eight o'clock. There's uh, beer, of course, and mm-hmm. uh, a little drop of the other. And, yeah. Uh, That's then right. there'll be um, what can we say? I'm holding a raffle. Yeah, for the Danish people, I don't know what a raffle. Lottery. Yeah, lottery, it's lottery, yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I've got, got the guys to sign a guitar. Oh, it's not a joke. You are, you are holding a raffle. Yeah, I it's a joke. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so often you come to a concert in Denmark, are we, where there is a raffle. Oh, is that right? No, yeah, it's not so. I've, I've experienced it in England, but not in Denmark. Well, I thought I'd bring a little bit of English flavour well, over here. You we know. always like that. I, I like the raffle because uh, you know uh, I can't make much money out of it, but. The uh, the idea is is to have a memento of the concert. Yeah. And uh, whoever wins that uh, raffle will get the uh, the guitar. Yeah. With signed signatures. by the boys, and uh, it's a it's a new guitar, you know. So and it'll be an acoustic guitar. It won't be a uh, hey. electric, you know. We love that idea. That's absolutely yeah. beautiful. And there'll be a couple of other prizes as well, you know. And and people can when when they come, can they buy their raffle tickets? So how does it work? Yeah, I'll go I'll go around the tables and, and uh, brainwash them oh. and tell them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you have to buy a raffle ticket. <laughs> so you can say hello to this lovely gentleman that stands opposite me today. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's good. And uh, and otherwise, they will be going on just after eight o'clock. I, I believe so, yeah. I don't know whether they're doing 2.45s or, or one one hour uh, complete. Okay. But I'll, I'll have a word with them when they arrive and uh, uh, see if they'll do 2.45s, you know. Yeah, that'll be good, because then you, you get the, the, the break in the, in the middle where people yeah. just can go to the bar and everything yeah. like that. And you'll get all the big hits from the swinging blue jeans. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. And we'll try to pop down with a microphone so if in 14 days we can play a little uh, Great. interview and a little chat with them. There's no problem there. Yeah. That'd be good. Um, but but otherwise, uh, have you seen them live before? Other where, other where places, this act, this, the same group that's coming on? No, Friday? I haven't seen oh. them because I've been away from England for so many years. You yeah. know, I, I've, I, I've got a few friends over there, but my family is... I don't know them, you know, uh, they're, they're terrible, you know. <laughs> I haven't kept in touch with my family. Denmark is my home now, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I feel for Denmark. That it's been good to me, Denmark. And then you yeah. wanted to stick here and, yeah. and also get the good music coming over here. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I must say one thing. Uh, yeah, indeed. I'm 76 years old. Wow, but you're doing well. Yeah, I, I'm doing, doing well. well. I, I'm I'm getting a road manager to drive for me. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't drive anymore. All the, from Euland to nah. Copenhagen, and all is nah. terrible. To, it's a long, real drag. Yeah, it's a long one, long yeah. one. So, so and, 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 I mean, the, the most important, like you say here, when you're keeping the business as in your age, seventy six, that's really good. Yeah, keeping the good music coming. Yep, I hope so. Fantastic, fantastic. And should we just say that people, when they if they want to buy their tickets for Friday, how can they get the tickets for? Uh, the th- I think uh, you have to r- ring up to Bronbu. There's a okay a special number. Uh, yeah, they have tickets. I don't know. We'll get them to search. If you search on Google, swinging blue jeans. Uh, on Google, or they can go to uh, they can go to Kulturhusekilen in yeah. Bornbu, yeah. and they can look it all up there. 
Yeah. They can see it all. And then and then it's Friday the 30th of September at 8 o'clock. It all starts. Yeah. The raffle first and then the concert? Or how no. do you say? No, I'll hold a raffle. If they do 245s, yeah. I'll, I'll hold the raffle in between. Hey, that's a good thing. Otherwise, I'll do it at the end of the concert. Ah, that's a jolly good idea, I think. Yeah, that when, the, when they come out and sign for all their millions of CDs, <laughs> they're going to sell. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to get one on Friday, then I can bring it in in two weeks and play it in here. Yeah, yeah great. So get some music going uh, I'll on keep, I'll keep one aside for you. Oh, that was kind of you. <laughs> That'd be good. That'd be good. That'd be 150 crowns, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just put a 500 note out here when you leave, okay? <laughs> then we got something for our dinner tonight. <laughs> That's lovely. That's fantastic. Oh, it's so brilliant that you, you know, and as, as you just said in the beginning, uh, Howie, that you, like, next year also got some big things in the pipeline that we'll be talking about in another day's uh, show. Yeah. That's amazing that you keep uh, suspense. Yeah, um... I'm not saying who they are, no, but no. Uh, we're going to have a little uh, trial with uh, three uh, pe- pe- trolls, is it called it? <laughs> Petrol, I don't know what it's called. Petrol. Petrol, yeah, Pitrol. yeah. And we're going to try that first, and then we're going to try um, an English band, very big. And, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to try because uh, there's, there's, we, you've got to do something, you know. Oh, indeed. People have to remember these people. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. In, in, the, in, in England, for example, there's a big... Uh, big comeback of yeah. 60s music yeah it, well it's never really gone away but uh, all the old bands are, are coming back they do months and months and months they go to Australia and to, to New Zealand and they Germany do. the Tremolos are on a two month uh, tour of Germany wow that's so amazing <laughs> from, that's from January you know I mean <laughs> But that's yeah. so good. I mean, every every week you got uh, Saturday morning, uh, eight till ten, a uh, radio two sounds of the sixties with Brian Matthews. Mm, yeah. Two hours of uh, the old stuff. Yeah, going and, on. And I don't know what when Jan Demilius. I don't yeah. know what he's doing now. He's still on the radio every day on a digital something. It's not so easy. It's, I mean, if you got the internet radio, you can still get him. But he's he's doing radio every day, one okay. hour a day. So. The sixties. I don't know if he's following the sixties or. He is. He's he's actually playing a lot of sixties music. He should have invited you in for an interview. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, <laughs> I, I'm, very, I'm very good friends with you. Yeah, he's so, a good man. Yeah, yeah, good man. No problem there. He's always been very nice. Yeah. Always been good. He's a good guy. Oh, but it's, it's I mean, it's so nice, uh, Howie, that you're doing all this for the music and uh, you're still a very, seem like a very happy guy and a positive outlook and everything. Well, I hope so. Uh, I have to be positive, you know. Yeah, I'm, I, I can't drop dead from uh, Parkinson's but you know it gets worse as mm. we go along so maybe in 10 years I, I'll i be 86 and I can't do much <laughs> <laughs> I will pull but, you up in a harness up the but stairs I, but I can use the phone <laughs> <laughs> we'll pull you up here in the studio there's yeah, no problem yeah, there we'll yeah. stick I, you in a chair I noticed there was no elevator when that's I walked right. up God, <laughs> then he died at the last step <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing, but you should you should know we we were so happy that you wanted to come here to the studio. Great, yeah. That's absolutely a pleasure for us. I mean, we we really liked it so much. Good. And uh, we're finishing off with the biggest hit for Swinging Blue Jeans. Our really? engineer has actually found it. Good. On the computer, we just said we would have been playing some more, but the trouble was you didn't have the, you you forgot the CD at home. Yeah, I forgot the CD, yeah. at home and then I tried to download in a hurry. Yeah. And I, and I don't know how to do it. No, it's so <laughs> It's so technical. Yeah. It's so technical. I'm sitting, sitting, fiddling around with my computer sometimes. Yeah. and say, ah, oh, why can't I do it? Yeah. I, I left my wife trying to sort it out for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm sure we'll we'll get some more in a couple of weeks. So it's, it's just for say to the listeners, today we're only playing one track with them. Okay. Yeah. But we're warming up for next Friday. Yeah, they, they shouldn't have too much, the listeners. They should just have one and then whet their appetite. <laughs> That's yeah. the right spirit. Yeah. And, uh, Howie, i just going to ask you, we always ask our good uh, guests about that. What are, what are your plans for this coming weekend? Do you have any exciting things, or is it taking it easy? This weekend, what day is it? Friday. Uh, it's Friday. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm just going to rest and... Yeah. Get ready for next week. Yeah, get, uh, and we got got a lot of drink to buy and that kind of thing, you know. So yeah, so you, you're taking care of all that on Friday. Are you going to pick the guys up from the airport, or how do they do? Yeah, I'll, I'll pick them up on. Uh, they come in at three twenty-five. Ah. Uh, if anyone wants to meet them, <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, and, brilliant. Uh, then they'll drive away up uh, to uh, hotel. Yeah, 
and then they come for a sound check at uh, six o'clock. Beautiful, and then the concert at eight o'clock, 30th yep. of September in Kultusakil in Brandy. Yeah, and they'll have some lovely grub. <laughs> Beautiful. That's food. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good to say that. So we all yeah. know. Okay. Yeah, but I'm yeah. sure that'll be an absolutely smashing day, uh, Howie. And uh, want to say thank you so much for what you're doing for the entertainment business uh, here in Denmark. Yeah, thank you, Robin. Uh, I hope you continue to. Talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, promise, promise. And I hope you have a lovely uh, weekend. And when we finish it, we'll finish off now yeah. with some swinging blue jeans. And Karina sends her love. Oh, and you pass on the best love and regards to her as well, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Absolutely a pleasure. We have a good weekend. Yeah, and thank you. Take care.